As you can tell, we are here in the 49ers Museum presented by Foxconn Industrial Internet, and I am excited to be joined by my guest, 49ers CEO, Jed York. Jed, as I'm sitting here with you, I feel like it's been such a long time since you and I actually got to see each other face to face. You know, we've done all of these video calls, but how special is it that we can actually get back to this moment and things starting to progress in a positive way? It, it's awesome. I mean, it's been a long, you know, 15, 18 months, however however long you want to look at it. But it's, it's great to be able to get back to some level of, of new normal. Uh, and I, I can't wait to, to get this season rolling. Speaking of season, we went an entire 2020 season with not a single member of the faithful walking through the doors of Levi Stadium. With things going in a great direction, how excited are you just to see the fans back in the stands this season? I, I mean, I can't wait. And, you know, last year, obviously, we didn't, we didn't finish 2019 the exact way we wanted to. But to be able to celebrate, you know, an NFC championship with our fans, you know, that was hard. You know, it's something that it, it's not easy to do. It's not easy to accomplish. So we definitely want to at least make sure that we recognize that. But it's it's so nice and our players feel it. You know, when we had to go to Arizona for a period of time, you know, we at least got to see some of our players' family and things like that. But playing in front of nobody is just such a strange, strange experience. And especially for our guys, you know, I mean, that's it's just a very, very different world. And the faithful, whether it's here or whether it's on the road, I mean, you, you've seen them lift us up and lift our spirits. I mean, I, I go back to the New Orleans game and we, you know, essentially took over New Orleans, which is a great stadium, a great fan base. And, and the faithful took that over. And you know what they do at Levi's. I can't wait to see it again. Speaking of fans at Levi's, you know, I this whole year of not having our fans in the stands, I feel like we've missed a few of the celebrations. And one that comes to mind is Bryant Young being an inductee into the 49ers Hall of Fame. It's so fitting when you look at where we are right now. But is this something that maybe the fans will still get the opportunity to experience this year? Well, we definitely want to make sure that BY comes back and, and he'll be there and we'll be able to celebrate BY and his unbelievable career with the Niners. Um, you know, BY is something that's very, very near and dear to my heart. Both both of us are, are Notre Dame alumni. Um, you know, and BY was a part of our, our Super Bowl 29 victory. And just, just an amazing human being, amazing person, and, and always somebody that, that we can look up to and, and know that, you know, he, he embodies what it means to be a San Francisco 49er. Embodies being a San Francisco 49er. We're in this museum, you see these statues, you know of these names and these players. With that, do you have any news to share as we're in this this area, this room right now? I mean, it's such a special area and it's such a special room and knowing all the people that, that have made the 49ers, you know, who we are and what we are, you know, two guys really, really come to mind and, and, and both of them are, are, are heroes of mine. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to introduce this year's inductees to the 49ers Hall of Fame, you know, John Taylor and Patrick Willis. <laughs> John, Pat, welcome to the 49ers State of the Franchise. First, congratulations on being named into the 49ers Hall of Fame. But when you hear this news that you two are the newest inductees, what comes to mind? I'll start with you first. Yeah. <laughs> first thing that comes to my mind is am I dreaming or what? You know, I mean, I came from such a small school, you know, Half the people didn't even know where, probably half the people didn't know where Delaware was, let alone Delaware State, you know. So for me to be inducted into the Niner Hall of Fame, it's really uh, um, it's no words I can say, you know. I'm just grateful and appreciative. How about you, Pat? As John just said, uh, truly honored, uh, grateful. Uh, the 49ers have a rich tradition and um, just history and to know that, you know, I'll be a part of a group of guys that are very few, um, just truly honored and to be set beside one of the legends himself, um, watching him uh, more so through the classics, you know, when they went to the Super Bowl and just his career, just truly honored. Jed, you're sitting across from these two guys. You think of the history and the teams that these guys have played on. Are there any specific memories that come to mind when you think of John Taylor, when you think of Patrick Willis? I mean, both of these guys are, are members of all decade teams when they played. And that, that speaks to how wonderful they were. 
on the field, off the field. Both of these guys were exemplary. They, they, they set the standard for what it means to be a 49er. I mean, I, I'll, I'll go to JT first when I was a little kid. So 1989, I was, you know, eight years old. <laughs> and, you know, watching a Monday night game on the East Coast was, was a little bit different. And, you know, I would have to, like, sneak and, and watch. I had, like, this old, like, rabbit ear TV that was, was on my bed. And I remember watching against the Rams when he took two passes over 90 yards to the house. And I mean, it, it was hard to, to keep quiet as a kid. And, and my parents busted me on the second one that I was watching the game. <laughs> but I, I remember that vividly. And I mean, you know, anybody to get a, a 90 yard touchdown, that's, that's very, very difficult to do, to do two in one game. And, and you know, it's not against a, a throwaway team and it's easy to, to put up a highlight this against the Los Angeles Rams, who we were battling, you know, for for the NFC West Championship, and I mean, it was just just a huge, huge moment. And when I think about Patrick, I'll, I'll never forget his first preseason game. You know, we're playing the Bears, and there's always, you know, not always, but there's sometimes a rub between you know the scouts who pick somebody and the coaches, and coaches want guys to earn their spot. And I remember it was like, well, you know, maybe. Maybe Patrick will play some special teams for us this year. And I remember sitting with with our, our then general manager Scott McLuhan, and you know he he thought that was a little absurd. And Pat made I think every single tackle <laughs> against the Bears, and he's like, yeah, he's like, I, th I think Pat's going to be starting for us. He's going to be starting for us for a long time. And when you fast forward a little bit, you know when we played against Arizona, and I can't remember it was I think it was 07 or 08. Um, it, was, it was a overtime game, and the season wasn't going great for us. But it, it just shows who, who Pat was as a player and who Pat is as a person. You know, Kurt Warner throws one out of the backfield and can't remember if it was a backer or it was a receiver, but he's taking it and, you know, there's no way a linebacker is going to catch, you know, a, a skill position player from behind. He, he runs him down, tackles him, and Arizona ends up missing the field goal and we end up, you know, getting a, a game-winning defensive touchdown, I believe. Um, but that was Pat, you know, in a game that, you know, might not have mattered it, it mattered to Pat, and it mattered, and that's that's what helped us get to three NFC Championship games in, in a row and, and get an NFC Championship um, victory and, and get to a Super Bowl, and, and that's that's who Pat is, man. <laughs> uh, I know you have a number of memories. I know the faithful have a number of memories just of you two and your contributions to this team, but with that, again, congratulations on being the latest inductees into the 49ers Hall of Fame, and the faithful cannot wait to celebrate this moment with you guys at Levi Stadium this season. But with that, Jed, is that all we got today? Well, I, I, I've got some more some more news, but I, I think I'm going to tweet it out instead of telling us right now. So let me get that going. In true Jed fashion. <laughs> All right, there we go. You have to read it on Twitter to see what's going on. And in case you haven't caught Twitter, how about we just show you this video and you can get a, a hint of what's going on here at Levi Stadium. Faithful, there you have it. The 49ers 94 throwback inspired uniforms. And members, you can check your email for a first access window to purchase beginning tonight on shop49ers.com. And general public can purchase starting tomorrow at noon on shop49ers.com. And 
in person at Levi Stadium at the 49ers Team Store presented by Visa. But with that, Jed, I want to thank you so much for being here. You guys as well. Thank you so much, Patrick and JT, for your time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We cannot wait to see you all here at Levi Stadium in 2021. With that, have a wonderful evening. And of course, go Niners.